Urban Broadcast System or YouTube channel. Hit that sub button so we can hit that 2,000 subs by the end of the summer. Y'all know what's going on. And as y'all know, we are rematching Islam, like I said. Last time we fought, I think I was number five. He was number three. Well, he was 30 and two. I knocked him out. He was 30 and three. To to I just knocked out Khabib. And this gave him his first loss. And he got him a yeah, win. He's 31 and three. When you're there, you so, gotta win. Or you don't get the opportunity again. Yeah, I know he got this knocked out by Khabib before he fought me. Right so it's not a defense. So that's why DC said you need to get. That's why he said, like, yeah. He said that at some point, He's like, yeah, go ahead. We need that. He would put in the work. He was I hear DC, like, yeah, you can't get here not here twice. And he intends to be the champ. And when you suffer a setback, there are two ways to go. And this man went on the right trajectory. Really good to see him get back here. And now we find out if he's got the goods to be a champ. Islam Makhachev enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. This will be my first title defense. So here he is, the reigning defending, undisputed, UFC lightweight champion of the world. This is his first title defense, so it took him a while to realize the title shot. Made good on that. Now we'll see if he can defend the belt and mute the naysayers who say that he's not really the champion until he defends this 155-pound gold. This is one of the UFC's harder belts in which to defend. If he can defend it tonight, you got to think a lot of the naysayers aren't going to have a whole lot to say. Had a good trade again, too. I thought it could be Mark with his left the hand. For this lightweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main. Man, Herbert Deans right in the building. He's the third man in the octagon right. tonight. All right, so here we go early round one. This belt as hard to retain as any in the UFC. The UFC lightweight championship. And there is the belt holder wearing the black and gold. We'll see if he can maintain the title here tonight against the number one contender. As many of you know, this is his first title defense. And he has said, I have no intentions of relinquishing the title, especially to this type of contender. We'll see if he can follow up and turn those words into actions here tonight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he comes through with a big knee. Right hand and a left. All right, the wrestler having little trouble engaging here in the clinch. And as you well know, he's got a lot of trips and takedowns from this very position. Oh, he manipulates you. He manipulates you from the underhook. He gets to the underhook, he starts to move you forward and backwards. He's tripping. He's foot sweeping you. He has so many different ways to get you to the ground that you can never really feel comfortable from his clutch position. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Three minutes to go in our first round. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice oh, trip oh, to secure the takedown. Right into side control. Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by Islam Makashi. Oh. 
making all these shots count. Makhachev's pass is denied. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Getting the ball here. Yep, got to be very careful there. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. Oh, he got to the spot. Posture's up and lands a strike up. to the head. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Nice transition. Makashev's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Ground and pound strike there now. Another one. I mean, he cannot That's miss. That's how you hit me in the first the top position. Dude, get the fuck oh, off of me. Defense. Yes. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. He will let his opponent stand up here. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Oh, my goodness, bro. That could affect the judging. judging. 30 seconds to go. Working out of the half guard here. I got a nightmare on too. There ain't no way. Lands the grounded and I'm defending him. Take that. Now he's going full mount. This is a terrible position. Round two next. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. Nicely done defensively. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Makashev gets a oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, that was a good really nice There's takedown. no fucking way. from the top here by Islam Makashe. Another ground and pound strike lands. And he's back up. Beautiful kick to the body. Nice. Nicely done. Straight punch lands. Now some spacing as they exit the punch. Oh, and he defends another takedown here. I'm not sure when frustration sets in for the wrestler, but been up this way. Well, he thought that he'd be able to secure these takedowns, and you can see him getting frustrated every single time this balanced fighter defends one. That's off to the balanced fighter, though. He knew it was in front of him, and he prepared himself accordingly to defend these takedown attempts. There's no fucking way. Just over three minutes to go Ooh, in round two. Makashev's in half guard. 
big ground and pound. what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. Ooh, get the hell off. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Collins high here in the clinch. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. job defensively. He blocked that punch. Back to his feet. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Another big shot. Taking me down, dude. <laughs> Makashev's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Transition. Good. You're doing fine. Stay relaxed. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Islam Makhachev. Strong reversal there. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Makhachev. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. All right, trying to pass here. As Grover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. Fifteen seconds. Bro, I got perks. I got four and a half. So I need to take that lead. When it comes to the ground and pound, now working the body. Get the nice job by off of me. Makasha. Oh my goodness. Round three next. Oh. All right, so the round is be, over, and know. this fighter's eye is. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like it. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship battle. Oh. Punch. Oh. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish Dude, you don't get the fuck off of him. Oh, no. oh, lands a hip toss now. All right, some great timing on that double leg. Dude. Get the fuck oh, off of him. For real. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Look for the hanging of the boy's head. They try to wear at his gas tank. Throwing that jab now again. The fight of age. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad.
You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Holy smokes! Oh, the judo chops on full display. Beautiful hip toss to take him down. Ronda Rousey did this for Dude. a long time, loading people up with those high amplitude throws. This young man is very well versed in this position, and he has a lot of tricks to get you to put yourself exactly where he needs you. Makashev's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks like he got up on one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Man, this is some serious ground Dude, and pound. I don't know He's how trying to move his head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. Right here. inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Or guys start to attack triangle. Oh, that's tight. Going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Good work, I'm gonna stand this up. Please do. Ohio, that guillotine is very tight. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest. Oh, hang on a second, he escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the arm. He hates his face. Go to your back. Give up the bottom. But he failed to fight his head. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Yeah, that's the first time I ever got that. Punch got blocked there. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done. Let's go. Stop playing with the dude. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not Maybe seen that. someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Butcher. All right, so there he is, the still one. Lightweight champion, and when you're taking on lightweight number one contender types and knocking them out like this, just scary to think just how high the ceiling is for this young man. Lightweight is the deepest division in the entire UFC, and if you can reign a topic like this young man has, it tells you how truly special he is. Congratulations on another great performance.
I'd have a way better performance. He's he's five star in that fight though. He was, but that was just like insane. I mean, there's no way to just keep taking me down and taking me down and taking me down and I'm mean, the cheap. All right, here's the Armenian Armand Sarukyan, a lightweight that many believe will one day be wearing UFC gold around his waist. The winning streak is in tow, and the strength of schedule has just been fantastic, really dating to the Islam Akashia fight back in 2019. At times, perhaps Sarukyan has been a victim of expectation, but largely he has lived up to what was some appreciable hype when he signed with the UFC back in 2019. He has inched his way towards contention. He's a guy that some have called the boogeyman of lightweight division, a guy that a lot of people don't want to fight. It's about fight. He's gonna be here today. We all gonna fight. I'll be his love life. Look at that. Well, you can argue this is the single hardest belt in the UFC to defend. The UFC's lightweight division has long been a murderer's row, and this champion's latest challenger looks like he could come through and upset the ethical. We were talking to him the other day, and I asked him about the fight. He goes, DC, nothing surprises me, because every time I go in there, I fight the toughest, scariest opponent. I understand my opponent's good. But I'm the champion for a reason, and I intend for it to stay that way. Seemed like he had a great training camp, a great weight cut, and even though there are definite stylistic challenges in front of him here tonight, told us on Thursday in the fighter meeting, skill for skill, I'm better than this, than this guy everywhere, and I'm going to prove it in a big way in front of this capacity crowd tonight. We can get right to it. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion out of the red corner. Many of you remember his title defense not all that long ago. He won it by knockout. 
and most of the guys, the number one contender types who have risen to a title shot, have succumbed to his power. They think they know what it feels like, and then all of a sudden they get in the octagon, and they just can't take the puck. So we'll see how he handles this particular challenge here tonight. Certainly an outstanding grappler who could pose some different challenges if we hit the canvas. He told us his game plan is to avoid the mat at all costs. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Right now, you have got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Straight right. He misses. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Just misses there with the left. I want you forward, forward. Get that takedown. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Sarukyan gets stumped by that leg kick. 15 seconds remain in the round. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Round two is next. All right, there's the horn, the round is over, but...
You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice jab to the head by Sawuka. Big shots being landed on both sides here. And there's that jab. Let me see that hook now. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nice shot there by the champ. Sawuka is cut on his nose. is just pouring blood at this point. We wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Circling towards the left now. That is how you scramble, folks. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big power shot there. Saragana's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any... Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. There's that left hand. Straight right hand, no good. Sauragans' cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. He can't get too excited here. He's got to take his time. Three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Sawukyan. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the oh, And that will do it. Oh! Woo! Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Butcher. All right, so there he is, the still UFC lightweight champion of the world. A lot of steam here during fight week that maybe there were a few things that could plague him tonight. Looked as good as ever for my money. He looked as good as he's ever looked inside the octagon. He's so good at everything. Apparently we mix it we match a bit more. Oh Justin Gaethje, I ain't gonna fight him yet. Not yet. I'm gonna sure hit that like, drop some comments, hit that sub button, you did.